Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is the 12th of December 2010 and uh, a happy weekend to you all. Uh, this video is about how to count the Elliott waves, okay? How to count the Elliott wave. According to Elliott wave theory, okay, the, the trend will consist of five waves and uh, ABC correction. So we'll have and if we have an uptrend, the uptrend will consist of five waves. And the third wave will be the longest wave. So we have a first wave, second wave, third wave, the longest wave, and then the fourth wave, and the fifth wave. After we have counted the five waves, we will have the ADC correction. This is the theory. This is the theory according to Elliot, okay? So talking about Elliot wave theory, the market, whether in the uptrend or the downtrend, will move in five waves. So in a downtrend, we'll count five waves to the downside plus the ABC correction. So in the uptrend, we'll have five waves to the upside plus ABC correction. The ABC correction in the uptrend will be a movement to the downside. And the ABC correction in the downtrend will be a movement to the upside okay i will show you right here i have here the australian dollar a uh, u.s dollar currency pair uh, thinking of some nice uh, sunny weather i decided to look at the australian dollar currency pair because right now in london it's cold okay so we are thinking of some nice uh, beautiful sunny places so the only thing that we can think of now is the australian dollar uh, u.s dollar currency pair okay now we're going to see how can we count the Elliott wave like professional traders. Now, by the way, if you do not know how, if you do not understand the subject of Elliott wave, you are behind, okay? So if you want to start competing with the best trader out there, you must be busy learning slowly by showing the subject of Elliott wave. That This is a very a friendly advice that I can give you right now. If you are a new trader, it doesn't matter what is your, tra your trading level, you must start right now, slowly by surely, learning about the Elliott wave theory. The best website that I created, simplifying the subject of Elliott wave, is www.24elliottwaves.com, okay? www digit2 digit4 Elliot waves in plural.com okay you go there and you enjoy yourself learning about the subject of Elliot wave as you can see the price went down okay if you follow my course so this Australia dollar a US dollar currency pair went down okay big time from this level where I'm moving my cursor all the way here and then display a double bottom pattern okay now the double bottom pattern has ended, has has signaled the end of uh, the downtrend because in the downtrend we must have a lower lows and lower high. And right here after this low, the next low was equal low, okay? Equal low mean that there is no more bearish momentum to bring the price to create a new lower low. So right here, in this zone here, the downtrend has ended, okay? And then we will start counting the Elliott wave. How do you count the Elliott wave? Okay, we're going to master this subject once and for all. I will show you a very simple way to count the Elliott wave, and this is one of the easiest ones. After the downtrend, an uptrend will begin if after a consolidation. So this is our consolidation zone. The double bottom pattern is the consolidation zone because the price went down and then tried to go up, try to display a lower low, fell, and we have this zone here. This level here, you need to pay attention very careful to what I'm going to show you now and try to master that once and for all. Anytime you see a double bottom pattern, remember, I'm going to repeat that again. Anytime you see a double bottom pattern after a downtrend, because sometimes people will see a double bottom everywhere on the chart and they would say this is a double bottom, it's a bullish. Now, the double bottom pattern that is valid is after a downtrend. So if you want to trade a double bottom pattern, it must be a downtrend. So first you have a downtrend, okay, and then you have a double bottom pattern. Sometimes people will see on the chart a double bottom anywhere on the chart, and they will say this is a double bottom pattern. But in most cases, the valid double bottom pattern are the double bottom pattern that you see after a downtrend like we have it here. The price went down, went down, went down. The bear get tired and the price display double bottom pattern. The horse pole zone that you have to look at is where I'm putting the horse pole now. This place here, this is why you have to remember for the double bottom pattern. 
the price might break that level bullishly okay very important and from there we start counting the way okay this is where is the key the nut the, 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 the this is the key area of the the, 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 the the downtrend that come from here to here if the price fail to cross this level bullishly the downtrend is still on and as you can see here it break it so we start counting the wave from this here first wave second wave but something has happened here the second wave must not cancel the f the, the first wave repeat the second wave must not cancel the first wave but because the first wave is from here i will draw the line there for you to show you forgive me for speaking fast okay so this is our first wave we start counting after this zone here the hotspot key area this is the last door for the bear and then as soon as the bear lost control of this zone we know that the bearish the, the bearish momentum is kaput and it break it right there okay remember that okay so now we see but this pattern is valid usually on a daily chart but it's powerful on the weekly chart okay but if you see on the 50 minute chart hourly chart it can work sometime but it's not as reliable like on a daily chart especially on the weekly chart so we break this zone we start counting the wave first wave second wave our second wave it is from here but something has happened as you can see the second wave has canceled the first wave because it shouldn't retrace back all the way to this level here okay the second wave shouldn't come down out to the starting point of the first wave okay it must retrace like 38 percent of uh, this move from here it must be like 38 percent or 50 percent not more otherwise it cancel the first wave and right here as you can see this is the first wave to this level here okay so if i show you clearly again what i'm talking about here because this subject is so important and you cannot afford not to master it so if we start the first wave from here okay first wave from here it ended here okay and then the second